All right, good afternoon. We'll go ahead and call to order the regular meeting of the City of Murfreesboro Board of Zoning Appeals for February 25th, uh, 2009. Uh, next item, or first item on the agenda is a consideration of minutes for the regular meeting of January 28th, 2009. Those minutes were included uh, with the agenda and the packet of materials that you received. Are there any changes or corrections to those minutes? If not, those minutes will stand approved as presented. Uh, next, uh, we'll move on to new business, a special use permit request. Uh, we, it's uh, application Z09006 by Ms. Rebecca Talley for the Murfreesboro Noon Exchange Club, requesting a special use permit for a group assembly use of greater than 250 persons for property in a commercial highway uh, zone located at the southwest corner of Medical Center Parkway and Robert Rose Drive. Mr. Blomley, if you'd review that application, please. Thank you, Chairman Rogers, and good afternoon, Chairman Rogers and members of the board. Uh, our one and item, one and only item, excuse me, on today's agenda is the uh, this application submitted by the Murfreesboro Noon Exchange Club for group assembly use. It's a uh, uh, special event they want to hold over Memorial Day weekend, and uh, it's located at the southwest corner of Medical Center Parkway and Robert Rose Drive. It's a vacant tract of land that is uh, owned by Mr. Gatton, and they have received permission from Mr. Gatton via Mr. Gatton's agent, uh, Mr. Tommy Smith, and you have written, uh, you have written permission from Mr. Smith uh, in your application package for them to make this application on Mr. Gatton's property. Uh, in the commercial highway zoning district that this is located in, and the property, as you know, uh, as we saw from the right around, is uh, directly to the east of the Avenue Shopping Center, zoned commercial highway, group assembly uses of greater than 250 people in the commercial highway zoning district require a special use permit from our Board of Zoning Appeals. And uh, because this is the prince, there is no other principal use on this property, it's a, it's a vacant lot, and for that week, this will be the uh, uh, principal use on that property. The event itself is only for the weekend, but with set up the, uh, the, the special use permit is for approximately a week. It will be the principal use on that property, and as the principal use on that property does require a special use permit, uh, the applicants have indicated that during this event, there will be, they estimate, between 1,000 and 10,000 people to, uh, uh, to, uh, to go to this event. Uh, and that will be over the course of that three-day weekend, that uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of Memorial Day weekend. And now what I'll do is just kind of show you some photographs of the area. This is looking from the Belk parking lot up uh, Maple Grove Drive. And Maple Grove Drive is the easternmost access drive into the, uh, into the Avenue Shopping Center. And it actually forms the uh, the western border of the uh, the property where the event will be held. This is looking uh, uh, back towards the property. There's a small detention pond here in between the uh, the this road right here is the Avenue Ring Road that uh, that goes around the perimeter of the parking lot of the avenues. And here we're looking back towards the property, which is just beyond the detention pond where the event will be held. The following photographs are photographs of the uh, parking lot directly adjacent to Belk, which will be the uh, actual event parking for, uh, for the proposed event. Uh, the avenues, and you'll find written permission from uh, the avenues uh, general manager in your application uh, submittal package that uh, grants the Exchange Club use of the entire Avenue's parking lot for, uh, for this event. And, uh, but primarily, of course, the, the parking will be uh, directly adjacent to Belk, which is the area that is nearest to the, uh, to the uh, event. And uh, uh, this is a, the, the majority of this parking is, is, is seldom used and, is, uh, and we anticipate that quite a bit of it will be available for event parking. Once again, picture of the parking lot. You can see on the day that this photograph was taken, as I mentioned before, the majority of the parking lot was empty.
in a bit, I'll go over with you the uh, traffic management plan that the, uh, the applicants and their engineer and the city traffic staff have come up with uh, in order to help facilitate p pedestrian and vehicular traffic through the, uh, uh, for the proposed event. But you can see the, uh, the uh, right lane of Maple Grove Drive uh, is extremely wide, and, uh, and that's to accommodate uh, pull-offs for Rover, for example. Uh, so that's going to help facilitate uh, the traffic management plan. And this is a, a, a view of the actual field that will be uh, that will be transformed uh, during the event uh, into having uh, several thousand flags. And I'll go over the details of the event with you in just a moment. Uh, as I mentioned, it's, this is a, uh, uh, an event that's going to be put on by the Murfreesboro Noon Exchange Club. It's a fundraiser event, and it's uh, uh, entitled the Flags of Remembrance Healing Field. And uh, what uh, the Exchange Club intends to do is to sell American flags, and they have a sample of the, of the American flag in the back the, of the size that they intend to sell. There'll be three-by-five flags on uh, eight-foot poles. Uh, rebar will be driven into the ground very symmetrically so that these flags will all line up. Uh, people can pre-order the flags online through a website, and then uh, the flags will be there um, in honor of whoever has ordered them, in honor of a, of a loved one. Uh, and uh, uh, folks will also be able to buy flags there at the event uh, if, they have, if they have not, uh, if they are so moved when they are out at the event and, and determine that they would like to buy a flag at the actual event. Uh, setup will commence for the event no earlier than May 22nd, and cleanup will conclude by May 29th. Uh, the 22nd is during the week prior to Memorial Day weekend, and the 29th is uh, the week after Memorial Day weekend. Uh, the event will, uh, will uh, commence on Saturday the 23rd at 10.30 a.m., where there will be a uh, uh, opening ceremony. Uh, where dignitaries will be will be present, there will be uh, uh, singers and speakers to help kick off the event. Uh, there will be no charge for admission. Um, the uh, The fundraiser will be strictly uh, via the the flags that will be sold uh, to help um, raise money for the various charities that the Exchange Club uh, helps support. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, and many, much of this will depend on the weather and uh, and of course the. The, the word of mouth uh, 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 that people will get about this event, but uh, the applicants have uh, uh, included in their agenda packages, in their agenda submittal, that they anticipate between uh, 1,000 and 10,000 people attending this event, which uh, they hope uh, in the future will, uh, will grow to the size of, of uh, similar events in other cities. Um, and they expect between 1,500 and 4,000 flags to be uh, to be uh, put in symmetrical uh, rows in the uh, in the uh, uh, in that vacant field. As I mentioned, the event parking will be at the avenues, which uh, contains over 3,600 parking spaces. Um, much of the 100-acre avenue tract is remote from this site, so. Uh, in order to discourage people abusing the uh, 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 people who don't who don't want to walk, abusing the uh, the the, uh, the parking system, the traffic management plan that's been set up, uh, staff contacted the uh, uh, the applicants and uh, uh, offered a suggestion and a recommendation that they uh, in the, or during the opening and closing ceremonies have a, a shuttle service. So that shuttle service, if someone was to want to park uh, at Best Buy or Michael's, for example, uh, they would have a, a, a means other than walking to get to the event. Uh, don't know that there's a particular need for that, uh, except at the opening and closing ceremonies, and the applicant has, has agreed to, uh, to do that. Uh, I'll go over the traffic management plan with you in just a moment, but the... Uh, uh, the applicant's engineer, uh, Mark Lee with SCC, worked hand-in-hand uh, -hand with the city's traffic engineer, Mr. Ron Balachandra, to come up with an acceptable uh, traffic management plan uh, because this is going to be uh, having an impact on, uh, on this area with regards to the number of vehicles that it's going to be bringing in and the number of vehicles that are going to need to park and get in and out of the site. And we feel that uh, 
a, a very uh, a very good traffic management plan has been uh, has been arrived at. Uh, one thing that I uh, that I will mention is that there is currently a sign ordinance amendment that is uh, before the city council uh, that would enable this event to uh, to move forward. Uh, when the applicants came to staff originally uh, with this idea, um, after some study, staff determined that uh, that this event would actually be a violation of the current sign ordinance. Uh, without an amendment to the sign ordinance. The so staff initiated a, an amendment to the sign ordinance that would uh, accommodate this event and any future event that wanted to use, to utilize uh, 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 this number of flags. Currently, the, uh, uh, the applicants would be limited to no more than, than three flags, which is substantially less than the amount that they want to put out there. So, uh, as a result, staff has uh, uh, taken to the Planning Commission and now to the City Council an amendment that would allow an unlimited number of non-commercial uh, flag signs, as, as we term, our, uh, term flags, uh, on a piece of property that has been approved by the Board of Zoning Appeals for a group assembly use. Uh, so this would fall into that category. So any approval would have to be uh, contingent upon uh, the City Council approving on third and final reading that sign ordinance amendment. And the City Council, for, uh, the, for the Board's um, uh, information and for the information of anybody watching, the City Council will consider that sign ordinance amendment on third and final reading along have, and have a public hearing at tomorrow night's City Council meeting. All right, now I just want to briefly go over the, uh, the traffic management plan with you. And this is, uh, each of you have a copy of this uh, uh, before you at your desk. The flags would be all uh, lined up uh, adjacent to Medical Center Parkway and adjacent to Maple Grove Drive. Uh, there would be six tents along Maple Grove Drive and those, would be, those tents would be uh, primarily for the, uh, the, uh, the charities that the, uh, that the Exchange Club uh, benefits so that they can give out literature about, about their mission and what they do. Uh, this trailer here that you'll notice is actually a a flatbed trailer that's going to be used as the uh, as the stage for the opening and closing ceremonies. Uh, this area here is the uh, the parking lot around Belk, which the event parking would take place in. You'll notice that there are uh, points where pedestrian traffic would be funneled into. You'll see where it says temporary landscape stones for pedestrian access, uh, and there are uh, cones along the. Uh, along those spaces so that folks can actually funnel into those uh, pedestrian areas. And, and although uh, you'll notice that the cones, uh, right where it says Avenue Perimeter Drive right here, those cones will actually be placed uh, far enough away from the curb where there will be enough room for a steady flow of pedestrians along that Avenue Ring Road. And there'll be traffic management personnel uh, located at uh, specific locations to help people once they funnel into those locations to uh, walk safely back to the actual event itself. You'll see the whole south side of Maple Grove Drive up until the first turnout is to be for pedestrian access. And then here there's a 30 foot, or excuse me, a, a 60 foot opening for vehicular drop off of anybody that is uh, uh, disabled or, or immobile or, or cannot walk the entire distance from the avenue parking lot to the event itself. Uh, the entrances into the, uh, uh, the uh, undeveloped out parcels along Maple Grove and Robert Rose Drive will both be barricaded so that we don't have anybody abusing uh, those existing uh, dirt lots, and as, especially that would become a mess if it were to, to rain that weekend. So those will be those will be blocked off. With that being said, uh, uh, I'd like to recommend some conditions of approval, and if the board has any questions before or after the public hearing, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, first condition, as uh, listed in my staff comments, all structures brought in, including tents, must meet minimum setback requirements as shown on the plans. In addition, the applicant must obtain a tent permit from the Building and Codes Department in order to erect the proposed tents. Uh, number two, the site must be fully cleaned and cleared no later than May 29, 2009. This includes the removal of the temporary landscape stones from the Avenue property as well as all miscellaneous trash and debris. 
Uh, number three, the traffic control plan will be subject to the final approval and oversight of the city traffic engineer. Uh, number four, the city council must approve the aforementioned pending sign ordinance amendment on third and final reading. And uh, there's a fifth condition that I'd like to add on to that. Uh, just as we do with all uh, normal, t uh, with all temporary vendors that come to the Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, now this isn't a temporary vendor, but it's a temporary event that's going to have uh, uh, power and, and lighting and, and, uh, and uh, uh, electricity provided to it via generators. We want to make sure that the, uh, that the uh, power is, uh, uh, as we do with all of our temporary vendors, is uh, uh, in conformance with electrical codes and that there are no safety issues. So uh, I would also ask for a fifth condition that uh, that we require an electrical safety inspection to be performed prior to the uh, uh, prior to the uh, opening ceremonies of the event, and in order to do that, the, an electrical permit would have to be pulled from our building and codes department. With that being said, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Uh, Ms. Rebecca Talley is here. If you have any questions for her, as I mentioned, there's a, 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 the exact same flag size and and type that will be used in the fields. And also Mr. Mark Lee from SEC is available if you have any questions for him. He's the design engineer on the plan. All right, thank you, Mr. Blomley. Any questions for Mr. Blomley? Mr. Blomley, on the plan, they show some porta potties, but I, he didn't mention that. I assume that they're, the number they propose has been sufficient for y'all. They uh, originally on the on the plans, there were only two shown. And, and you can imagine for an event of this magnitude that, that uh, two would not be sufficient. They have revised the plan to show six, which, in my opinion, is 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 sufficient. But that is how they will handle uh, uh, patrons' uh, uh, restroom needs. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bomley. Uh, Ms. Talley, anything you'd like to add to the application, or Mr. Lee? Any questions for them from the board? Okay, then at this time we'll go ahead and conduct a public hearing. Anyone present wishing to speak for or against this application, if you would, please come forward. State your name and address and any comments that you might have. And seeing none, we'll go ahead and declare the public hearing closed and open the floor for any further discussions or motion. If there's no discussion or questions, I make a motion we approve subject to all staff comments and the additional note of the electrical permit also. I'll second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that motion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? All right, the application is granted. We appreciate you all coming in today, and, and uh, best of luck with your with your project. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, having completed our one agenda item, we'll move on to staff <laughs> reports and other business. Uh, well, all, all I can say is that fireworks season is, is coming up, so enjoy the, the short agendas while you can. I think we're going to have a, 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 a long agenda next month. All right. There being no other business, then we are adjourned.